Hi, I'm Paul Edwards with Norton Clipper, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the C13 PE depth screw bearing. The first thing that we'll have to do is remove a jam nut that's wedged up against the bearing. And in that jam nut, you'll find a set screw that we will need to heat up with a torch. The set screw is Loctite in place, so take about uh, 10 to 30 seconds worth of heat on the set screw to break the Loctite down. Use a 1 8 inch hex key to remove the set screw. Next, we'll take either a 1 8 inch wrench or an adjustable wrench and loosen the jam nut. Now we need to remove this cross bolt that attaches the depth tube to the raise axle. One bit of advice is to fully lower the machine before removing this bolt. Now we're going to unthread the depth screw from the depth screw rod. Rotate the depth screw out away from the axle and turn the hand wheel counterclockwise. Now we're going to unthread the jam nut that we loosened earlier. Unthread it until it comes off of the depth screw thread. Now we have two set screws to remove from the flange bearing. In order to do that, we will need to heat each of the th set screws up for about 10 seconds, no more than 30 with a propane torch, and use the 1 8 inch hex key to remove the set screw. Please note there are two set screws to remove in this bearing. After removing the second set screw from the flange bearing, simply lift the depth screw out of the bearing. Now we're going to remove the flange bearing by using our 9 16 inch wrench and 9 16 inch socket. Make sure that you clean the set screw holes and set screws on your new bearing and the jam nut with some non-chlorinated brake cleaner or degreaser. When installing the new bearing assembly, be sure to position the greaser towards the rear of the machine. Now tighten the lock nuts that we just hand installed completely to the bearing. Now place the depth screw and handle through the bearing. Now take one of the set screws that came out of the jam nut and place one drop of a permanent thread locker on it. Then partially thread this set screw into the jam nut.
Now we're going to thread the jam nut onto the depth screw rod. Now use your adjustable wrench or 1 8 inch wrench to tighten the jam nut to the flange bearing. Once the jam nut's fully tightened, now tighten the set screw in the jam nut. Now take one each of our set screws that go into the bearing, place one drop of red permanent thread locker, and then tighten it to the bearing. To install the depth tube, thread it onto the depth screw rod. Once it starts to thread on, position the grease zerk so it's pointing towards the rear of the machine and turn the raised lever oh, handle clockwise. We want to align the hole in the bottom of the tube with the two holes at the bottom of the mounting bracket. Then attach 1/3 inch flat washer and 1/3 lock nut. Use your 9/16 inch wrench to tighten. Tighten the lock nut until the lock nut comes in contact with the flat washer. Now we need to test the depth adjustment by rotating the handle. And that is how you replace the C13PE flange bearing. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out more from Norton Clipper.